Jasmine Pellini, a.k.a. Little Italy, a.k.a. Ciao Bella. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. And she holds her first service game. Boy, is she putting on the moves front, back, side to side like a new TikTok dance move or something. And Iga's just slipping, sliding all over the clay. And this crowd is going wild for Jasmine as that's a Jordan fist pump, a baby Jordan fist pump, all five foot four of Jasmine Pellini. She is an Italian warrior. Now, she says her speed comes from Africa. That's right, her father's side of the family. I don't care where it comes from. Just bring it today. And she certain, certainly is as she holds her first service game. Iga looks like she's having a little bit of problem keeping up with Jasmine. Sarah Irani! <laughs> yes! Showing Jasmine some support here. They have the doubles championship. They're going to be taking on Coco and Katarina. That's going to be so amazing. But listen, guys, it's clear to me that Jasmine is just playing tennis. I don't really see a clear game plan. I see her just playing tennis, being comfortable, having fun. She has nothing to lose. The experts have Iga as a 17 to 1 favorite. And this, as we pivot to Coco, is what I think needs to happen, right? Jasmine has a clear speed advantage over Iga's fiance here. She can match the power of Iga in some of these exchanges. She's overpowering Iga. And let's go back to Coco, guys. I feel at this point... Coco versus Iga, there's too much game planning, right? And I've said this previously. I think there's too much game planning. They have to go back to letting Coco Golf play. Just play tennis because I think the game planning, it's a little, it's it, it might be a little over the top now to where she's thinking too much. She's not able to use her speed and athletic ability. If she just goes out there, see ball, hit ball, play off of her instincts then she's going to do a lot better than she's done. And probably I'd say last time. I mean, the previous match when they played in Rome, that was a very tough match. I do feel that Coco played Iga Fiontech very well there. I mean, 6-4, 6-3, nearly a two-hour match. But this last time, I, I just thought it was a little, bit too, a little bit too much game planning. Let Coco play. Let her get a feel for the game. Let her get her rhythm. I feel if you're trying to game plan too much, you're, you're worried about X's and O's versus just handling each situation as it comes at you, right? Because a lot of times in tennis, the other player is going to do what they want to do, especially because Fiontech, she's so great. And if you're focusing a little too much on the X's and O's, then you know what? That can take away from what they're game planning as well. You know, but nonetheless, Jasmine Polini, she holds her first service game. And this crowd cheered very, very loud when there was a close call here where ugh, they thought it was in. It was out. Jasmine was up 40-15. Iga would come make make it a deuce. He would make it a service game. But hearing the crowd boo the chair umpire and the line judges for taking that point away from Jasmine. Ugh, I think it's clear who they want to win here. Tennis in a minute. We'll be back.